all of us do different types of practicals in our high school in physics. Some of the practicals are easy and the students tend to remember them very well, whereas some of the practicals are a bit tricky and I have often seen the students keep forgetting them as they go through with their syllabus throughout the year. Hello friends, my name is Onik and today I am going to show you how to measure the length of any object using a vernier calibers. Make sure you watch the video till the end and at the end of the video I will give you an interesting fact about this vernier calibers. So a vernier calipers is an instrument which is used to measure the length of any object up to two decimal places in centimeter. So we can understand it's more accurate than a regular scale which gives us reading only up to one decimal place in centimeter. Now before going into the instrument, I want all of you to understand a very very important term and that is least count. Now this term often confuses the students, so that is the reason why this term is very important for all of you to understand. So the least count of any instrument is the smallest measurement that can be taken accurately with that instrument. For example, if we see a regular scale which is marked in centimeter, you can see that there are 10 divisions between each centimeter. So one division means one millimeter. Now this one is the least count of this regular scale. Now for example, if the length of any object lies in between 8.1 centimeter and 8.2 centimeter, now you cannot take both of them. So you have to take either 8.1 centimeter or you have to take either 8.2 centimeter. That means you cannot measure anything lying in between 8.1 cm and 8.2 cm. So a problem, right? Well, a vernier calipers comes to our help in this case. Now before starting, I want all of you to understand yet another very important term and that is the meaning of divisions. Well, if you see this, in between each centimeter there are 10 divisions. Now when I am talking about divisions, I am actually talking about the gaps in between the small lines. I am not counting the small lines, but actually I am talking about the gaps in between the small lines. So division means the gaps. Okay, so let me just quickly show you the different parts of a vernier calibers. First we will see the actual instrument and then we will go through the diagram. So this is a vernier calibers. Let me just take you quickly around the different parts over here. These two over here, these are known as the outside jaws. Okay, the outside jaws. Now this one can be slided like this. This is the roller. You can see this is the roller. You can slide this one up like this. Now the object whose length we are going to measure, we have to put that object in between. Now I have this five rupees coin with me. Now this coin, I am placing it in between these jaws. This has to be tight. You have to make sure this is tight so that it doesn't fall like this so it has to be perfectly tight like this okay these two are known as the inside jaws now these two has a specific purpose which I will explain at the end of the video okay let's come to the next part this one over here this is the main scale now this is a regular scale which all of us use you can see it is marked in centimeters it's marked up to 12 centimeters okay now there are 1, 2, 3, 4, you can see there are 10 divisions in between each centimeter. So one division means counts to 1 millimeter. The most important region is this region, this one. Now this is known as, I hope all of you can see, now, th now here there are no markings you can see. Now this is known as the vernier scale and this that makes the difference in this vernier calibers. Now this vernier scale, if you look closely, this vernier scale has 1, 2, 3, 4, if you count the number of lines over here, now this is no markings, I repeat. In some of the vernier scales, there are markings, but over here, the one which I got, there are no markings. Now, if you count the number of lines over here, you will see 11 lines. Okay, there are 11 lines over here. And if you see the divisions, and I repeat, division means the gaps in between the lines. If you look at the division, you can see there are 10 divisions. You can count the number of divisions. You can pause the video if you want. I will give you a better look over here. 
just one two three four so if you just count the divisions you will you will see that there are 10 divisions over here okay now i will explain how to measure the length of any instrument using this this vernier calipers okay now there is one last part over here that is this one this region now this is known as the strip now this also has a specific purpose which i will explain at the end of the video okay so here we are as you can all see this is the diagram of a vernier calipers let me just show you the different parts over here these two are the outside jaws the left one over here is fixed the right one is movable and we can slide this to a convenient position the object whose length we are going to measure is to be put in between these outside jaws this is the main scale this is like a regular scale which I hope all of us use it's marked up to 10 centimeter so one division is equal to one millimeter the most important part is this scale it's the vernier scale and as I said this part can be slided to our convenience the vernier scale has 10 divisions if you look closely the vernier scale is designed in such a way that 10 divisions of the vernier just matches with 9 divisions of the main scale so one division of vernier is equal to 0 0.9 division of the main scale lastly here are the inside jaws and the strip okay so first of all we have to find out the least count of this vernier calipers now the formula for least count is is the value of one mean scale division divided by number of divisions on the vernier scale Now let's go to the instrument now you can all see over here this is the main scale now as I told you before the value of one main scale division I hope all of you can see the value of one main scale division you can see this the one main scale division is one millimeter okay and if you look at the vernier scale this is the vernier scale now as I said that there are 10 divisions on the vernier scale you can count once more there are 1 2 3 4 there are 10 divisions on the vernier scale 10 gaps so 10 divisions on the vernier scale okay so let's put this aside so the value of one main scale division is 1 millimeter and the number of divisions on the vernier scale is 10 so 1 by 10 so that counts to 0 0.1 millimeter and that is equal to 0 0.01 centimeter so this is our least count this is in millimeter and this one is in centimeter you can see the least count is up to two decimal places in centimeter as I told you before now let's go to the measurement now to measure the length of any object we need to find out three things the first one is the main scale reading the second one is the vernier scale reading and the last one is your total reading So let's put this in three columns. So this is the main scale reading. This is our vernier scale reading. And this is our total reading. Okay. So let us go to the instrument. So I am putting the object in between once again.
okay so first you have to see the mean skill rating now what is the mean skill rating okay now this line this one is known as the zero of the vernier okay the vernier scale it starts from the first line is marked as the zero of the vernier now you have to look very closely this zero of the vernier is actually crossing which line of the mean scale okay the zero of the, i repeat the zero of the vernier is actually crossing which division or which line of the mean scale now you can clearly see this is two this is 2.1 this is 2.2 this is 2.3 now this zero of the vernier is crossing 2.2 but it is not crossing 2.3 see as you can see clearly it is this line is before 2.3 okay so your mean skill reading will be the division which the zero of the vernier just crosses so the zero of the vernier just crosses 2.2 so your mean skill reading will be 2.2 centimeter so i'm putting here mean skill reading 2.2 centimeter okay now let's go to the vernier scale reading now this is extremely important and is extremely crucial to understand the vernier scale reading as, as this will make the difference okay now if you look very closely at the vernier scale I want all of you to look very closely at the vernier scale okay now the vernier scale starts with the zero this is the zero this is the one so like this it goes up to 10 okay it's the tens line now if you look very closely now once again i said the object has to be very tight okay make sure the object is very tight in between now if you look closely at the vernier scale you will find that any one of the division of this vernier scale will just actually coincide exactly with any division of the main scale now let's see what does it mean just see all these lines you can see all these lines are not matching with any of the lines in the main scale but if you look closely we are sure to find any one division or any one line of this vernier which will exactly match with any one line of this main scale so let's see which line matches the last one you can see or this one also you can take okay the last one you can see now this one all the students need to understand this one this one you need to see with very minute eyes and very very carefully okay to this this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so the tenth line is matching exactly with this mean scale line okay. now some of you can think that this is not 10 this can be 9 you can take this one as 9 also no problem with that one okay so your vernier scale reading will be 10 so here i am putting this 10 now the formula for this total reading will be your vernier scale reading multiplied by your least count plus your mean scale reading okay let's see that means 10 into 0 0.01 plus this 2.2 centimeters so this is counting to be 0 0.1 centimeter plus 2.2 centimeter so that is equal to 2.30 centimeter now in case if you take your vernier scale reading as 9 suppose so your main scale reading it will still be 2.2 centimeters and suppose your vernier scale reading is 9 okay now that is 9 multiplied by your least count 0 0.01 plus your main scale reading 2.2 centimeter so that one will be 0 0.09 plus 2.2 centimeter so that is equal to your 2.29 centimeter so you can see this is measuring the length up to two decimal place so this is actually more accurate so this one was the one which i was talking about 
so you can take as many readings you want and after that you can just take out the average you will get the final reading okay so that is how you measure the length of any instrument using a vernier calipers one more thing i want you to understand if you were taking many readings over here using a vernier's calipers it is quite obvious that the main scale reading will come as the same the vernier scale reading may differ suppose the first reading you are placing the coin in this way so this is your first reading now in the second reading you can just change this a little bit you can just open it up and you can just place it around like this at a different position like this okay in the third reading you can just rotate you can just again take it out and you can just again place it out like this just rotate the coin and place it like this so like this you can take as many readings as you want so this is the way how to measure the length of any instrument using a vernier calipers now in the end i told you i will tell you about this inside jaws now this inside jaws are actually used to measure the internal diameter of any object okay now let's see now suppose i have this object now suppose i want to find out this internal diameter now you can easily see i cannot measure this one with this outside jaws i will not get the accurate measurements so i cannot measure this with the outside jaws this outside jaws are used to measure the external diameter okay now what about this inside diameter now this inside diameter is actually measured with this inside jaws now how to place this one you have to place the object in this manner and just you have to open up this jaws okay so this is tight so just you have to so you can i hope you can see so just you have to place this and open up this jaws like this okay now after that the rest of the reading is same you have to take the mean scale reading the vernier scale reading and then the total reading now what about the strip which i told you about this strip now this strip is actually used to measure the depth or height of any object now i have this over here this is like a hollow cylinder i hope all of you can see this is like a hollow cylinder now suppose i want to measure the depth of this cylinder how to measure so just i have to open up this one so this one just i have to open it up and this strip I just I have to place this strip over here I hope all of you can see this strip just I have to place it over here like this so I hope all of you can see so that the end of the strip touches the bottom okay and this region this region over here it rests like this now the rest of the part is easy just you have to take your main scale reading the vernier scale reading and then the total reading so these are all the parts of a vernier and i hope all of you understood how to measure the length of any object using a vernier calipers not only the length of any object the outside diameter the inside diameter and also the depth or the height of any object okay so that's all for today's topic i hope all of you have liked the video if you have liked the video please give a like and make sure you subscribe my channel and press the bell icon now if you have any other questions or if you want me to discuss any other topic make sure you comment down below now before signing off as promised i want all of you to listen to this interesting fact i told you about vernier calipers well the romans weren't the first to use calipers the earliest calipers were seen in china during the han dynasty that is between 202 bc and 220 ad These Chinese calipers were made of bronze and had the manufacturing date engraved on each one of them. Early calipers were not only used for precise measurement of objects but also were used by Europeans to calculate direction. They were common on almost all seagoing vessels and were used to dictate direction and to read maps. Pierre Vernier, born in 1580 in Orleans, invented the graduated caliper. He created the Vernier scale. The Vernier scale enabled a user to obtain precise measurements of objects at a greater level of accuracy than known prior.